Now I'm still on a part, I'm still on part two of who giving you spiritual advice. Now the one reason why I'm saying this, my friend, because I want to help you to don't be a person that will leave the church because tithing become a burden. Yes, tithing is a burden. Is tithing for the for the church or is tithing for the Levitical priesthood? Is tithing for the church or tithing of the law? My friend, there are people, my friend, they say Malachi, let's go to Malachi. Malachi, glory to God, number number three. Uh, let's say verse number eight. They say, Will a man listen, will a man rob God? You have robbed me. But ye say, where have we robbed thee in tithes and in offerings? Ye are cursed with a curse. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on now. Ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all tithes into the storehouse, that there be meat in my house. And prove me, therefore, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the wind of heaven and pour it a blessing that ye have room enough to receive. And I rebuke the vow for your name's sake, and he shall be be shall be destroyed of their fruit and their ground. Neither shall ye cast her fruit thereof before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a a, license, a, a lighthouse land, said the Lord of hosts. And also Matthew. And glory to God. Matthew 23, 20. Hello, what does it say? What does it say, preacher? It say that, hey, glory to God. Let's say verse 20, 23. He said, woe unto you, scribe and Pharisees, holy hypocrites, for you pay tithes of mint and anise and cunning and have, have omitted the weightier matter of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These all to you have, have done and not to have leave the other undone. My message to you is, is tithing of the church. Yes, is tithing of the church. As you go through all the book of, of Romans and, and 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Philippian, Philemon, uh, 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 Thessalonian, and go to God, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, you will never hear the word mention of tithing. And these pastors, yes, these pastors, a hey, glory to God, that have, have, have taken advantage of people that, that's biblically sound. Yes, you are a biblical sound. Anytime, my friend, you put a you put a, a yoke on the people's neck by telling them they are cursed with a curse because they're not paying tithes. It's tithing of the church. No. Tithing is not a church. That's of the law. Tithing is of the law. My friend, we, we give grace. We give grace. We give, we give according to grace, my friend. We give according to a cheerful giver. They nothing about tithing. Tithing. And people, my friend, listen. People has used, go to God, how Abraham give it to Melchizedek. And, and, and so the one time he did it, he did it because of his, he killed. And, and to, he took the, 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 the sums and gave it to Melchizedek. And Melchizedek, my friend, when he gave it to, to Abraham, he gave it to Levitical priesthood. So I'm telling people, my friend, is tithing is of the church. And if you are paying tithe, you know when people stop going to church because a pastor is a bling bling, because a pastor is a is a rock star, because a, the pastor is a celebrity. My friend, I mentioned a, the message I preached before, my friend. Who give you spiritual advice? And people give you spiritual advice, don't want to get paid. Hey, go to don't want to don't want to be don't want to be paid for the for for the they give you spiritual advice and it become a burden hey, go to you and to the pastor because tithing is not for a purpose, my friend, for you go to God to go to church and give a ten percent of your earnings. You're supposed to do it gracefully. You're supposed to do it, hallelujah, cheerfully. Not somebody calling you. If you miss a tie, they call you. If you miss a tie, they take you off the choir. If you miss a tie, if you're a minister, they say you can't minister no more. Why? Because you miss tithe. It's tithing for the church. No. If you are tithing at your church, my friend, it become a burden. The pastor become a rock star. The pastor become a Hollywood star. The pastor become a celebrity, my friend. The church is not a, a business. It is a place or a hospital where people come in and say, what must I do to be saved? But we are, we are, we are burdened people, my friend. 
Look at the young, look at the young rich ruler. The young rich ruler kept all, and God and Jesus Christ told him, "Sell what you have and give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven." And the Bible say he walked away sad because he was very rich. You know how many pastors, my friend, have taken people money? You're taking people glory to God pension, taking people IRA, taking people, my friend, they they retire and you, they gotta give them ten percent of what they are they are earning, my friend. This is this great. Look at look at the Pharisee. The Pharisee, the God, two men went to prayer. The Bible say, my friend, one, he bragged and boasts. He got a resume. And he said, I paid my tithes. I'm not an extortioner. I'm not a murderer. But the publican say, Lord, have mercy on me. And the Bible say, God heard the publican. God ain't concerned about your resume. God concerned about you paying tithes and offering. But the Bible say, my friend, hey, glory to God. When Paul went to hey, go, uh, Corinthian church and Paul say, go to God, hallelujah, gathering. He didn't say about tithes and offering. He said freely give and freely shall we receive. The Lord love a cheerful giver. And if you are paying tithes of your church, you are on the law. And Jesus Christ said, I, I didn't come to destroy the law. I come to fulfill it. I, hallelujah. Jesus Christ said the law was given to Moses, but grace and truth came to Jesus Christ. Is your church a tither and an offerer? Hey, glory to God. And it's amazing, my friend. The reason why I'm saying this is because, because people leave the church because it become a burden. And the church are not to be a burden. The church ought to be a, bur a burden barrier. Hey, glory to God. You ought to come to the house of God because you are sick, my friend. You ought to come to the house of God because you have trouble with your spirit. But you don't come to church of God, my friend. Look at it. The Bible say, my friend, there was given. Jesus Christ say he was, he was looking out. And this poor widow gave two might. And the Bible say she gave more than those that are casting their riches. So it's tithing of the church. No! If you are paying tithing, you are under law. You are under Moses' law, like the seven-day Adventists. They are under Moses' law. They are Moses' disciple. Are you Moses' disciple? I'm Jesus' disciple. Oh, glory. Jesus Christ told the truth. If you continue my word, then you shall be my disciple, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Are you free today? Yes, uh, who, uh, I hope you're looking, you, you watch my, my, my first message. I say, who give you spiritual advice? Because the Bible says there's a hurling and a good shepherd. A hurling is a pay preacher and a good shepherd. He don't want, he's concerned about pay. Why? Because he got a vocation that God gave him. That's why Peter was a was a was a fisherman and Paul was a tent maker and Luke was a phys Luke was a physician, my friend. I come and tell you today, my friend, is tithing for the church. No! And you have to, to let people brainwash you about Malachi 3, 8, and 10. Will a man rob God? Hallelujah. God ain't talking about that. God, the Bible says rich toward God. Are you rich toward God? Is tithing of the church? No! It's a law. And we got to get out of law and go on the grace and truth. Hey, glory to God. The law was not made for a righteous man, but for the sinner. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. The Bible says, again, such days no law. There's 17 activity of the flesh and the non activity of the spirit, my friend. And the Bible says, again, such days no law. So I'm telling you, my friend, warn the scribe and the Pharisees that pay tithes and offering and forget them the weighty matter of the law. These things you have to do and to leave the other undone. I'm telling you, my friend, tithes is not for the church. Tithes. Is for the, the 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 old church, which is the law church. We are the grace church. Hey, glory to God! Because the Bible says, if you if you break one commandment, you will broke them all. So tithe. If you're going to tithe, tithe honestly. Tithe not ten percent. Tithe is forty percent, fifty percent, sixty percent. Tithe is not just in money. Tithe is in land. Hey, glory to God! What's that? Tithe is not just in tithe in in cattle. Tithe in seed. Tithe, my friend. We talk about tithing. It's not for the church. Pastor will sing, give me your money. Church is not for the money, my friend. Church is the matter of your heart. Are you saved? People that pay their tithes and go straight to hell. Yes, you pay the church off, but you're going to hell because you got hate in your heart. Is tithing for the church. No. People stop going to church because the pastor is greedy. He's a greedy dog. Hallelujah. Filthy looker's sake. 
You paying tithe because you say you're going to be blessed a hundredfold. Give me a million dollars. You're going to have a million blessings. Stop it. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Tithing is not for the church. I used to I used to give tithe so much, my friend. Tithe so much, tithe so much. People give tithe and they live in a raggedy life. People get, you think your tithe can make you go to heaven? You can't pay yourself to heaven? Hey, glory to God. Yeah, yeah, I say you can't pay yourself to heaven. And some of y'all, y'all paying this crooked pastor. He's crooked, my friend. He's a gigolo. He's a pimp. He's a prostitute. And he prostitute your money, my friend. And you paying tithes and you you living worse than they're living. You, hey, you are a tither. You're a prostitute. Hey, you are a tither. You're a pimp. Hey, you are tighter, you're a homosexual. Hey, you are tighter, you're a lesbian. Hey, you are tighter, you're a adulterer. Hey, you are tighter, you're a liar. My friend, it got nothing to do with salvation. God said he love a cheerful giver. But he said a tither. Amen. Glory to God. I feel good, my friend. Why? Because I know the truth. The God said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So it's tithing for the church. Ooh.